Hey, good morning. It's Betty. And today I'll be working on a 2009 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, the brake lines have been leaking brake fluid for a little while, and so we're going to replace the, the lines. Um, he ordered Rough Country brand uh, stainless steel brake lines, and then he ordered the Callahan uh, rotors, calipers, and brake pads. So that's all for the front. That's what I'll be replacing today. So I should be here in a little while, and I'll get started. All right, time to get to work. I need to take off all of the uh, bolts around there to remove the tire. So got my Allen and let's get busy. Perfect. So this right here is where the problem is. See, it's uh, debris and stuff gets built up in there and it swells. This causes it to rust and that's where all the fluid leaks out of. You can see already just this short amount of time there's got a puddle of brake fluid on the ground so it is common to this uh, the Jeep JK model so this is what we'll be replacing these lines but we're also going to replace the calipers and the rotor just you know to upgrade so here's the new rotor that'll go on see it's special uh, slotted drilled and slotted so it's good it's a Callahan brand as I said before, and then the uh, uh, the caliper, and then we got the brake line there, and that's Rough Country brand, and and this the box that this came, all came together in was at least 60 pounds, and that FedEx guy carried it up to a second floor apartment. That's that's really good. Kudos to the FedEx. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this bleeder valve so that uh, we could drain the brake fluid out of here so it's not going to make a mess when we remove this. This is one thing that's really important not to twist because if you twist and break this, you're going to have to replace the whole brake line and that's not fun to do. So I'm going to spray this uh, curl on here, any kind of penetrating oil so that that can be working in to get uh, loosened up so it'd be easier to remove. Looks like maybe a screwdriver pushed in here. We'll pop it open. Yeah, look at that. Comes right out. And so I'll just take this whole clip off of here. I need to reuse it on the new one. Let me see if I could use this clip. Hook this out of the way while I'm working on it. go. I should hold that out of the way for now. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and see if I can take all of this off together 
that way I can just uh, set up the new one and replace it together but we'll see we'll see once I get this off so right now I'm removing the caliper bolt and it is a 21 millimeter so let me see that should turn around this way hopefully I won't pull the Jeep off the Look at that, that's how it looks under there with all that rust built up. That's what will be replaced. That's why we'll be replacing it. All right, so we got it without bending it. Now that we have the, the old line taken off and all of the caliper and a rotor taken off. I have all the new stuff right here. Uh, I have to remove this one bolt from the old caliper that uh, uh, that hooks the new uh, brake line onto the new caliper and that is a, a 15 millimeter for that and so I'm gonna get this ready here on the ground and then we'll place the whole thing onto the onto the hub there. The banjo belt uh, holding the caliper hose onto the caliper it needs to be at 23 foot pounds of, of torque. So once you tighten it, use a torque wrench to make sure you get 23 foot pounds. Before I put all this on, I'm going to use some brake cleaner just to get all this good and cleaned up before I put the new stuff on. Now I want to show you that these new rotors. Uh, they tell on here this is a front passenger side and they are unidirectional so make sure you put the right ones on the right side okay, these little um, brake clips they just there's little slots so you can see exactly where they clip onto the little brake pad retainers And we're putting the flat side onto the inside so it won't interfere. This, the one with this clip goes on to the closest to the piston part of the caliper. like that. 
All right. Got those brake pads in. And so now I think probably the easiest thing to do is put the rotor on the hub and then uh, put the caliper on over it. Caliper bolt? Yeah. I got, there's one here in the drain pan. Okay, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, but I, okay, yeah, I see mine over here. Yeah, that was yours. The torque for these bolts is 120 foot pounds. So make sure you get them tightened as tight as you can. All right, I got it back together. And uh, once the wheel's on, uh, we'll tighten those lug nuts so the rotor will be tight in place. And uh, the brake line doesn't look exactly like the old one. So we'll, we'll probably zip tie it up. And we're also getting something uh, delivered in the mail in a couple days. That's a brake line keeper that will help hold that in place. I just need to put the wheel back on, bleed the brakes, and we'll be good to go. Huh? I'm holding. Okay, hold. Second, let me. Okay, pump again and hold. Uh -huh. I'm holding. <laughs> Little bit's coming out. All right, pump. Okay. Hold. Hold. Well, we bled the brakes and then I cranked the Jeep to see up. Uh, to test the drive back and forth and the pedal brake pedal went all the way down it's kind of weird we bled the rear some more and it really didn't get any better but he had to go and so he drove I was concerned about him driving on those but he said it had twice the brakes that it had before and uh I looked in the manual and it said, the, the service manual, and it just said that you should just re-bleed the brakes if they still feel spongy. And I believe that's all it is. That system with all that rust was open for a while. So I'm sure it, well, more than likely, it absorbed a lot of water and all of that brake fluid should be replaced and it should be fine after that. It was fun changing the brakes, especially since I had some help, and uh, it's not that difficult to do, so if I can do it, so can you. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you do so. It only takes a second to hit that button. It doesn't cost anything or anything. It just just helps me out. So uh, thanks for watching, and you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.